Hello everyone. So today on this beautiful, gorgeous winter day, we're going to try to uh, take advantage of it. Do some driving around. We're headed to uh, head out to the farm store uh, to service our new machine, our Crane National 474 and a box factory. So here we are at the uh, farm store with our new machine, our Crane 474, Crane National 474. Uh, so again, this location, we got off of a Facebook ad, our one and only off of a Facebook ad. So yay, seems to be working out uh, pretty decently so far. I bet if we get everything kind of squared away here, we might be looking at $50 a week uh, gross. So hey, there's that. Unfortunately with the machine, it is working. It does do what it needs to, but we do have quite a few updates that we need to take care of. We need to take care of the labels, the uh, price stickers, and if this machine does well, then I guess down the road, we'll get a better one. Alrighty, next up is gonna be box factory number two. Now with box factory number two, unlike box factory number one, we are still very much in the process of trying to get this dialed in. Completely different workforce, even though it's the same company. So um, yeah, the Snapple has uh, been still doing fairly decent. Uh, in terms of the pop or soda, uh, we've really been rocking out a lot of Coke and Diet Coke with these people. Uh, their counterparts love the Mountain Dew. Here we have uh, some Mountain Dew love, but not too terrible much, and absolutely no love on the energy drinks. Well, safe, safe for a little bit for uh, the Bang Cherry Lemonade. Once again, we are hit with Sprite, and it looks like the uh, Vanilla Frappuccino is doing good as well. And hey, the sweet tea, how about that sweet tea? We cannot forget that. It's been doing awesome. So as you can see with the Mountain Dew, kind of had an issue there with some of the, uh, one of the Mountain Dews falling forward. Uh, so we actually talked to the lady and she wasn't able to get it, but she was able to get her money back and then make a different selection. So we went and we fixed that and we actually added in a, a thicker shim in that area right there with the Mountain Dews. So uh, we, we have the regular shims that we're supposed to have for those uh, Pepsi bottles. And then uh, we threw in a thicker one as well and seems to be working out pretty all right right now. Kind of thinking they just needed like that extra millimeter or two, you know, a little squeeze. Moving right along to the snack machine, uh, we were out a complete row of the jerky. I believe it was the regular and the teriyaki uh, combo pack. So with the jerky, we are just doing so well with that. Uh, both we have the regular and teriyaki and the spicy blend here at Box Factory number two. Everything else, pretty pretty normal sales. Really not one thing that's really flying off the shelves and not one thing that really isn't. Uh, the cup of soup has been doing well and that's gonna be need to be restocked. Yeah, words. So that is kind of like our overview of our collections for this week. Uh, we did not show everything. <laughs> we had a few more stops um, at Box Factory 1 and 2 um that we didn't get to but uh, we do have that uh, all in the the cash count the cash haul if you will been uh, super busy preparing for a new location and some new machines that jenny is going to show you next real quick since we've been doing vending we've had like two people that have had issues with like um, the debit card policies with the credit card payments or debit card payments how it authorizes so we had to throw up a little literature on that bang bang Let's take a peek at our new vending machines. This one right here is a Vendo 721, High Visibility Vendor, or HVV. I'm thinking it's because it has these gigantic buttons on it. Um, we do need to get some new flavor cards for this machine. We're gonna be switching some stuff out from what it was previously in there anyways. We also are going to be needing a new bill acceptor that takes both ones and $5 bills. We are hoping to put the credit card reader below the bill acceptor here between that and like the Pepsi logo. However, that gray part is metal and I don't know how thick it is. So hopefully we can drill through it and line it up nicely. Um, what's cool about this machine is that it has a key fob to open it. And like you'll see here, like you just push the button, it turns red, you have to put it in a certain location and unlock it that way. And then the display says, you know, door unlocked, locked. And then to lock it back up, you just close the door and it locks back up electronically. On the inside of this Vendo 721, it has 10 selections. You may have recalled from the front of the machine it has 12 of those big buttons, but two selections have two buttons designated for them. So it may look like there's 12 selections, but there's only 10 in here. 
What's really cool about this machine is that it's shimless, which means that you can vend like a 12 ounce can, a 16 ounce can, a 20 ounce bottle, and even a 16.9 ounce bottle we tried without adding or taking away any shims. Um, on the inside of the door, it shows you um, like the, the product setup and the instructions for loading the machine and how to move the spacers. And it even has um, like a, a graph or a chart for the diameter of bottles that you can put in there and how you need to set the machine up. So it's really, really awesome to have it right there. I mean, you can hold the bottles right up to it. So that's cool. That makes it super easy to change things like on the fly, on location. Looking forward to that. It's also really neat because it's self priming. So as soon as you close that door, it will prime your selection so that you don't have like an, an empty vend or have to prime your selections when you're changing out products. On to our other machine. This is a snack machine. It's an FSI 3091. It has a total of 36 selections in it. I think there's 15 for like chips, uh, 16 candy, and like another five for like pastries on the bottom there. Um, this machine needs to be upgraded. So we want to put a credit card reader on this machine for our new location. But in order to do that, we need to get a, uh, a kit and we're going to be ordering it from in one technology. It is $350, but it includes like a new control board and display and everything I need to upgrade it. Um, it will be able to accept MDB bills and coin mix, all that good stuff. Overall, this machine is in great shape. It does need to be cleaned up a little bit, dusted off, and I do need to order some new price rolls for the price tags. It looks like previously they just used some of those price stickers, so we need to clean those off and put some new rolls in there. But uh, we are excited to get this one on location soon. Um, here are some of the components that I'm gonna be changing out. That coin Mac on the inside, behind the door there is a, a control board that will come out. Um, yeah, so getting excited to get this ready for location. As for price for both of these machines, the Vendo 721 was $1,200 and the FSI 3091 was $625. Now that we're talking about cash, let's get on to that cash count for the week. So that sweet, sweet cash collection for the week. Uh, we are looking at a grand total of cash, mind you. This is not for our credit card machines. And with our credit cards, we do have uh, Box Factory 1 and Box Factory 2. Both are credit card upped, um, but our our metal shop is not, and the farm store is not as well. Correct? Correct. Correct. So credit card action, if you will. So anyway, with our cash sales, we were at three twenty seven fifty for the week. All right, people. Uh, thank you so much for watching another Pat and Jenny vending production. <laughs> we greatly appreciate you hanging out with us and tagging along for some adventures in the world of venting and whatnots. Um, so thank you for all the support, all the likes, all the comments. If you're new in town, please consider subscribing. And with all that being said, until we see you again. Keep your nails clean. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.